check your pulse, and turn off your phone. Get ready to be entertained. The Bronx Edulution is back, and we've got more youth voices, educational partnerships, exciting global discoveries with Alexi Gingertopoulos, dollar store science experiments with Dr. Whitey Black, and tons of ways for you to engage with us as we bring laughter and knowledge right to your doorstep. Me and the crew welcome you to season three of the Bronx Edulution. What's up, creative family? Welcome to the Bronx Edge Illusion. I'm Timothy Stone Dancer Coleman, Director of Education here at BronxNet and your host for the show. Thank you for joining us for season three. What a blast we're having. I hope you guys have caught all of these other episodes on the BronxNet YouTube page. Just go to youtube.com and look up at BronxNet TV. All right, there's some amazing, fun, crazy stuff we're doing and I hope you all enjoy it. I just wanna to say to always remember to be appreciative and thankful for all of your blessings. Keep it at the forefront of your mind so that you will never lose your joy. Joy is irreplaceable. Now, some mornings I wake up and I'm like, ooh, I feel happy. And then I go ahead and I trip over one of my dog's toys and I'm no longer happy, but I never lose my joy. We hope to bring you more joy with what is coming up next. Take a look. Hello guys, I'm your host for today. My name is Janetta Luciano, and we're here joined by... King Zion. So, King, where do you go to school? Longwood Prep. And I hear that you're interested in technology, right? Mm-hmm. And what part or branch are you most interested in? Computers. Computers? Mm -hmm. So I've heard that you build your own PC? Yeah, I did. That's true. Um, did you do it on your own time? Yeah, I did it on my own. At home? Yeah, at home. Did you get any help from like no. any? Really? Did, where did you get these parts? I got them off Amazon. All of them? Mm -hmm. Was it affordable for you? Or did you get help? No, I had to work for the parts. There you go, kids work for parts. <laughs> um, did your parents help you in this process? No. Oh, really? What, what was the hardest part of this process for you? It was like towards the end when I was trying to install Windows 10 on the computer. How about the building process? Like, is there, was there any part of it? Like, putting things together or? It was figuring out where the screws went, because, like, sometimes they would fall, and then I would spend, spend some time looking for them. Ah, like losing them? Yeah. You would lose them under places. Okay. And what was the easiest part? It was, like, placing, the, placing some of the parts inside, like the, like, the GPU and the CPU. That was really easy. What, was the, what is CP and GPU? My... The CPU is like the computer processing unit. It's like, oh. it's like the brains of the computer. Okay. And what do you, would you recommend other people building their own PCs at home? Yeah, it's a really fun experience. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Is it affordable and better than buying your own PC at already being built? Yes, it's more affordable. Because I usually, pre-builds are like more expensive. How much would you, like answer, how much was it to build it on your own time? Mm. Well, I can't really say exactly how much it was, but it was most of my SYP check. Okay, that's a lot. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to the people that are out there trying to build their own PC? Um, I would say that you definitely need some patience. Like, like sometimes it's like really frustrating to like get it done. So patience is key. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, that's it. Thank you for your time today. It was great having you. Thank you. Join us next time. Thank you. Thanks for sticking with us. We got more headed your way right after this. Now is the accepted time. Not tomorrow, not some more convenient season. It is today that our best work can be done, and not some future day or future year. W.E.B. Du Bois was an influential African-American sociologist, historian, civil rights activist, and writer. His journey from the humble streets of Great Barrington, Massachusetts, to the historic halls of Harvard University, demonstrates the unyielding power of seizing the day. W.E.B. Du Bois was the first African-American to ever earn a PhD from Harvard. His life and work exemplify the belief that knowledge is the foundation on which the fight for justice and equality is built. 
As a sociologist, historian, civil rights activist, and writer, Du Bois leveraged his intelligence and passion to challenge the status quo, advocating for a world where African Americans could enjoy the same freedoms and opportunities as their fellow citizens. Du Bois never missed the opportunity to further the causes he believed in. Students can achieve their goals as well by emulating Du Bois's tireless advocacy and willingness to seize every chance they get. Seek out opportunities, say yes to new experiences, and always continue learning. Cultivate your own passions and affect positive change in your communities. Du Bois's co-founding of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP in 1909, marked a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement, emphasizing the importance of collective action and community support in overcoming systemic barriers. Through his role at the NAACP and as editor of its magazine, The Crisis, he illuminated the struggles and successes of African Americans using the power of words to inspire change and mobilize a nation towards greater equity. Like Du Bois, we all have the potential to be agents of change in our communities and beyond. By valuing education and striving for understanding, we honor his legacy and contribute to a more inclusive and just world. Take the first step towards becoming an informed, confident, and inspired individual, and share your knowledge to make a difference in your community. Together, let's continue the journey toward understanding and equality for all. And that's the juice. Get more quotes, bios, and news articles like this by signing up for The Juice. Fresh articles crafted daily by journalists and educators help you stay informed about the latest in world news, STEM, and current events. The platform combines captivating stories with innovative technology delivered to you at your reading level, ensuring you're never left feeling confused about the news again. The Juice empowers kids to enhance their reading skills through engaging articles and videos that can be enjoyed at their own pace. Sign up today and elevate your knowledge and reading abilities with the juice. Nineteen point seven percent of Bronxites currently experience food insecurity. Meanwhile, instead of these nice, colorful foods, this is the best food that they have access to. If this sounds like you, there are a bunch of resources to get healthy food for free or cheap. If you want to help, you might consider donating or volunteering in one of these places. Community fridges like this one are all over the city and allow New Yorkers to conveniently donate extra food to people who might need it. Go to this link and find your nearest one. Food banks and pop-up events like these provide millions of healthy meals to families in need. These organizations are distributing meals to Bronx sites as we speak and are always accepting donations and volunteers. Dear schools, principals, superintendents, and any organization that works with high school age youth, we want to let you know about an amazing internship program that we have here at BronxNet where we will bring students in and for a period of weeks we will work with them and teach them television production. They'll be running the camera, they'll be shadowing for audio engineering, they'll be uh, floor managing. There are so many different positions that they will become familiar with. If there are students that would also like to learn how to host and be in front of the camera, we work with them on those skills as well. What we're able to capture during that internship are the unique experiences of our youth where we are showing them that careers in STEM really do matter. And as many of you already know, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. This STEM career of working in TV production can be an invaluable way to catch those students that are on the fringe. You might have students that uh, don't necessarily participate in everything that is happening in the school building, but then they come here with us and they recognize our comfortable environment, they're engaged, they're able to work the cameras, they're able to learn some new skills, and we have seen countless students go from being interns to actually being part-time employees here at BronxNet 
to then becoming full-time employees here at BronxNet, to then being promoted into all different types of positions where they are helping the community and they are fulfilling that creative need within themselves. Please check out our website so that you can learn more about the BronxNet High School Internship Program and see if your students might be right to come on over here and work with us. Many of our internships take place here at Lehman College and Carmen Hall, but we're also going to be opening up internships at some of our other locations as well. Shoot us an email with your inquiry. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's me, Alexi Ginger Topolis, your world traveler and best friend. I'm so glad you joined us for today's episode. I can't tell you how much fun I've been having traveling the world on Google and learning lots of important things. So today, I wanted to tell you that I learned about two new cultures and to help me define what they're all about. I have two guests that are here with me that I'm going to stand up and they're going to reveal themselves. Hello on my right. Hello. Hello on my left. Hello. What's your name? My name's Angelica. Angelica. What a beautiful name. I'm Alexi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Can you teach me some things about the Dominican Republic? It's in the Caribbean. Okay, the Caribbean. Okay, is that to the left or to the right of Australia? That's a joke. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, it has a lot of lovely beaches. Mm, nice. What do you eat in the Dominican Republic? A lot of rice, mm -hmm. beans, mm -hmm. meat. Meat, rice, yeah. beans. Okay, those are all favorites. Okay. Now, how do you say hello in the Dominican Republic? What language is that? Spanish. <gasps> Spanish? I thought they only spoke Spanish in Spain. No. <laughs> That's so amazing. How do you say hello? Hola. <gasps> Can you all say that with me? Hola. 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 Beautiful. Now, let's see. You say, okay, and how do you say please in Spanish? Por favor. Por favor. So your R seems to go hrrr. Do I have to do the hrrr every time? Yes. Oh, it's a rule. Okay, so what's your name again? Angelica. I was tricking her. I know her name. <laughs> and she's from Dominican Republic, and we say hola. I got another guest on this side. <laughs> what's your name? Eduardo. Eduardo. Eduardo, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mexico? Oh my God. Mexico. Now, where is Mexico on a map? Right under America. Oh, we're connected. Yeah. All right, so what are some cool things to do in Mexico? Um, sightseeing. Mm. Visiting family. Mm -hmm. Eating. Eating. What do you eat in Mexico? Tacos. Tacos. Tortas. Tortas. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. I like quesadillas. I had quesadillas for breakfast one time. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so how do you say hello in Mexico? In Mexico, we speak Spanish, so we say hola. <gasps> but she's from the Dominican Republic, and they say hola. How can they say the same thing in Mexico? That's crazy. Why do you both speak the same language? It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> she said colonizing. I love that. Colonizing. That's so true. That went around the whole entire world. And so lots of different cultures speak a similar language at different times in the world's history. So if you say hola in the Dominican Republic and hola in Mexico to say hello, what's something you can teach me in Spanish from Mexico that would be a different word in Dominican Republic? That is a great question that I don't know the answer to right now. So one of my friends, I'll give you an example. One of my friends is Puerto Rican and he's from the island of Puerto Rico. And one of his friends is Dominican. 
I found a word. I know a word. And they were talking one day about eating rice, mm -hmm. arroz. And one person said, I like kong kong. And the other person said, I like pegao. And I didn't know that those are the same things, right? Yes. Do you guys eat kong kong or pegao? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that just means all of the crunchy rice at the bottom of the pot after you make it. You know, sometimes you're eating rice and you get a little crunk, crunk. It's not bad. It's actually quite tasty. And so some people call it kong kong and some people call it pigao. I call it all levels of yummy. So these are my two new friends from Mexico in the Dominican Republic. And I'm Alexi. Gingertopolis, and I'm so happy that you were with us today. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Only 57% of New York City high school students are college ready by their senior year. Fifty-five percent of high school graduates either have no plans to attend college or are uncertain that they will ever attend. Thirty-four percent of young adults don't go to college because they can't afford it. Discover what's possible. BronxNet's education programs, internships, and opportunities help engage and inspire Bronx youth and beyond to pursue their passions. Be a part of the BronxNet family. Whether you're interested in our shows, joining a class, or donating to support our mission, visit BronxNet.org to learn more. I hope you're having a good time. Are you? Be sure to send us an email at education at bronxnet.org and let us know your feelings and thoughts about the programs. Do you have other science experiments that you would like to see us do on TV? We'd love to know what they are. Send us some directions. We'll try it out. All right. What are some of the summer activities that you have planned? What's your favorite thing about that particular activity? My favorite summer activity more than likely is sitting by the water, catching the breeze, listening to the dulling traffic from behind me, and just daydreaming as I look out onto the water. I'm a Cancer Leo Cup, so I love the water. I love being out where I can just zone out for a little bit. So check this out. We hope you enjoy what we've got coming up next. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to another day of Dr. Whitey Black's Dollar Store Science Experiments. I'm so grateful that you're here. Really quickly, a small point of context. Mary Jane Blige called me and asked me where I get my hair done. Can you imagine? <laughs> But today, we have an amazing experiment that we're going to do for you. Let's get started. <laughs> now, we have all of our products lined up for this experiment. But I need a volunteer, and I'm all alone. I have an idea. I'm going to utilize our cameraman, and his name is Kaya. Can you say, hey, Kaya? Hey, Kaya! Join me on the floor! Join me on the floor! You're so good at repeating. <laughs> Hello, Kaya. Welcome, welcome. Look, he's so professional with his little microphone. Okay, Kaya, today... <clears throat> Our science experiment is how to make oobleck. 
okay? You will understand that word when you read it at the bottom of the screen. My teeth prevent me from using any more diction than that. It is called ubrick, okay? U-U-B-L-E-C-K, okay? Here we go. Oh my God, my mother would die for me putting this back in my mouth. Oh God, save me! Okay, here we go. So, what you need for this experiment is a bowl, and a bowl, a spoon, and a spoon. I am out of breath already. We need one cup of cornstarch, if you could please. Oh, look. I forgot to tell him he is such a good student. He put on his gloves and his mask, okay? This guy is like hidden, okay? You can't even see him. When the president goes into hiding, this is how he winds up looking in an undisclosed location, okay? <laughs> One cup of cornstarch, okay? Remind me never to have you make my pancakes. Okay, this is good. Put that in the bowl, okay? One cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay? And then you need half a cup of water. And as he does that half a cup of water, I hope you notice we have all of these food colorings, okay? Food colorings with a Z, okay? Red, yellow, blue, and green, okay? What color would you like to use? He doesn't speak. He is a cameraman, I hope you remember, okay? He just likes to touch and go. All right, please squeeze oh, into your water. And you can use your spoon to mix the colors all together. It's so pretty inside of the cup. It's already so pretty. I just don't know what to do or say. Okay, now that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, we are not making lemonade, okay? <laughs> do you remember the lemonade fizzy drink? I forgot my colon is just now getting back to normal. <laughs> Okay, pour that into the bowl. Right, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to ask the question. What substance is both liquid and a solid simultaneously? It is oobleck, oobleck, Okay, here we go. Dump that into the bowl. Ever so gently, wow. Okay, we are going to shoot this for the camera so that they can see. This is not for human consumption or for your pets, okay? Do not eat this, okay? This is the beginnings of Ubrick, okay? Here you go, utilize your spoon while I go ahead and try on my side with a different color. I might need to make oobleck to keep my teeth in my mouth. Oh my God, oh my God, it is so exciting. Okay, one cup of this. All of these ingredients come from the dollar store because I want you to know that science is not only fun, it can be super cheap, okay? I don't know why they charge people so much money to go into space. It is just science. Just put people on the boat and get up into the air. <laughs> I said on the boat. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to use green. Okay, green, green. Oh gosh, this is so exciting. Now, what are you noticing about your ooh black? It's hard. <laughs> it is hard. Now, if it is too hard while you are trying to make it, you can add just a little bit more water. It should not be like trying to scrape your teeth in the morning, okay? <laughs> Here we go. We are going to ding dong, ding dong, ding ling 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 ling. Okay, now I'm going to stir just as Kea is stirring. Here we go. It is a huge, tremendous mess. Okay, let's show them how far we have gotten along. Mine is green, his is blue. His is blue, mine is green. Okay, here we go. I also need a little more water. Now listen, parents, when you are doing this with your children at home, please do as we do and put some trash bag on the floor. These experiments are so much fun, but they are not so much fun to clean, okay? That is the secret, that is the secret. <laughs> you can't clean up after you're done because it's science. Okay, I have added too much water. Here we go. 
Okay. Now, the other joke is, he doesn't really need a mask. <laughs> That's so funny. He just came. Oh, my God. Cameraman are gullible. He just put a mask on so innocently. I never said put on a mask. Oh, my God. I just put it on the table to see what he would do. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, push your hand through it very gently. Very gently. All the way through. All the way through. Now, this is what is exciting. Let us tilt it for the camera. Mm-hmm. You see, he is able to push his hand through the product. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is... This is a mess. Okay. <laughs> what I want you to do is... Push it hard, push it, try and push it really hard to get it through. Look at this, ah, oh, he came up. Yes, Uvek, Uvek. Okay, now here is the cool thing. Mine is not going to work out, <laughs> this is, I'm not even gonna worry about these teeth, children. Okay, so, when you use the Ublek, and you go very gently. It is like a liquid. It is like a liquid, okay? Now, what if you squeeze it really hard? <laughs> Cameraman is gruff, okay? Look, it is like, it is like a solid when you do little bit of pressure, it is like a liquid. But when you use a lot of pressure, it becomes a solid, but it changes very quickly. Can you see his hands? Can you see his hands? Look at this. The, Oh no, this is terrible. Okay, so this is the whole point of the experiment. Where are my teeth? Oh God, I wonder if this is how my grandmother felt before the end. Okay, here we go. So, Ublek, U-U-B-L-E-C-K, is a solid when you are rough, a liquid when you are soft, okay? This is how we make science. Do this with your children at home. Do not eat this product. I cannot be more specific than that. How do you feel about science? Great. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much to our cameraman, Kea, for joining me today. This is Ublek. You can find the recipe online. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. You do not need to have all of the mask, but you do need to have gloves because if somebody does like this and touches all over you, then you get super messy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. See you. Oh, wasn't that awesome? Oh, man, that's going to do it for another episode of the Bronx Edulution. We'll be back next week with more learning experiences headed your way. Remember, you always have everything you need right where you are to get your own unique story in front of the world. But just in case, don't forget to check out bronxnet.org forward slash education because we've got a multitude of classes that you can take in podcasting, in studio production, in field production, and so much more that are gonna help train your skills so that you can get what is inside of you that you've been thinking about and praying about and focused on and meditating on in front of the world. They're ready to receive your idea. There's 8 billion people out there, people. Someone is waiting for exactly what you have to offer. For all of the things that are vying for your attention, as always, I wanna say, I appreciate your focus. We'll see you next time.